it's Michelle Tabert, and I'm going to show you how to use matte medium or I mean matte gel for collage because I find it makes a better I what I like is I don't like a shiny look on the papers because you see all these papers I have a very matte quality and I don't want them to have any kind of gloss so using gloss medium or Mod Podge or whatever would make a gloss sheen on the top um, and this is a little bit more permanent than say glue stick and it's fairly easy to do so I've glued this one piece on already and I'm going to show you this is a uh, handmade paper that I made a long time ago and what I do is I'll put let's just say it's going to go here like so so I'm going to turn it upside down and then I, I do it on something um, like palette paper or wax paper or plastic or something just to protect the surface because I'm going to use my knife just like I'm spreading butter really carefully or something on the back of it. So I'm just going to spread it with the knife and that allows me to get all to every edge really carefully. And it's just a very thin amount is needed, not a lot. And you can always scrape off with the palette knife any excess. So I'm going to spread that there. Okay, it looks like I got most all the corners done. And then I'm going to flip it over and place it there. Now I can just rub it with my fingers. See how nicely those very delicate edges just kind of stick down? Sometimes, on some of them I'll use the knife too, just depending on the paper. But this is pretty delicate, so I'm just going to pat it down and smooth it. And once that's dry, that'll form a really permanent archival bond. This is acid-free, this glue. So it does, it's also flexible, so it won't become brittle like an Elmer's glue would. It's definitely like a more fine art solution. Now, it also works for really fine papers like this. This is a very delicate origami paper. So um, I'm just going to show you the same technique. Just lightly spreading it with the knife on the back. And I have to take a fresh area of the palette every time so that I don't get it on the front. But it's not the end of the world if you don't if you get it on the front because it will dry very matte so you would hardly notice it. You can just press that down like so. And even this really thick, almost like cardboard like paper will adhere really well with this. With this since it's so thick, I might be slightly more generous with the uh, with the matte gel. Oops, I think I got some on the front. Yeah, I did. But I can wipe it off. That's shiny, so I might not want the matte on top of that because I might want the sheen. So I'm just going to use my apron and wipe that off. I could use a little water, too. That's just some painted. So there you go. Get all those different types of paper glued down permanently.